So this is my VR showroom. Uh, and these are the different cases I'm looking at right now for computer computer cases. These are uh, mini, uh, th these are micro ATX. This is a big ATX case. That's the one I actually have now. And it's kind of, yeah, it does actually feel like looking at like this in, in VR, it does feel like the correct size. Maybe it feels a bit small, but yeah, it's, it should be correct, I think. So these are, that's a Fortress O2, by the way, um, the case that I have now. So this, this is a, uh, uh, this case is a uh, sticks something uh, that I'm looking at. That's the thing I, that I noticed when I was playing around. This is an in case M1 and it's actually looking whoops looking at it like this in VR it seems like it's kind of it's almost like half the size but looking at just like figures and stuff it doesn't really f doesn't seem to be as much smaller just by going by the numbers as it appears to be like this in VR which is which is quite interesting this is a mini ITX case though so it's quite different uh, this is my old Bitphoenix Prodigy case, uh, although it includes the handles. So the handles are over here normally, and or and, and underneath, and that increases the size. It's like the outside size of it. This is a Node 202, which is also a mini ITX case. Okay, yeah, fourth. Not very useful, maybe, but still kind of fun. <laughs> so this is a, like behind the scenes of what the, the previous video is. So this is uh, the, what the scene looks like in Unity, and I'm just place these objects here and then I've created this is a standard Oculus VR rig camera rig and then there are controllers like for the left and right controller and grabber volumes uh, and then there's like a static scene with the, the ground and the small table and the light and then there's the different cases and the, the cases are dynamic objects so you can actually interact with them so uh, it's pretty simple the in unity by default when you run it like this if you use the default settings then uh, the scale is going to be so that w one is uh, one meter so yes adjust accordingly and then you have just enter the millimeters or sizes of things and you can watch see how they how big they are it's pretty pretty neat actually so I'm going to see if I can play around more with this this uh, navigation is not the best but yeah also when you look at it like this on a 2d screen then you don't actually s get any of the important size information really so looking at in VR comparing that these two objects it, they were very different they felt very different in size but looking at them like this it's not quite as immediately obvious I mean this one is smaller but I would not really think that it's half the size of this one it looks more like maybe a third or something like that or well two-thirds so that's pretty that's pretty neat actually